Hello and welcome to my latest video on my Epic Fighter Playlist group, which will grow to hundreds of videos. On this video, as you can tell, we are looking at Kostya Zhu, okay, former light welterweight champion of the world. Um, a fighter who had a short career, okay, N not many, over 30 fights he actually had um, in his whole career. But we are going to go through his career and display his stats the same as every other fighter on this playlist. So let us start um, on Kostya Zhu, as all videos, with his first 20 fights and let's see how he starts off. So Kostyzu in his first 20 fights goes 18 wins, 1 loss with 1 no contest. From Kostyzu's 18 wins, he has 14 KOs or stoppages, meaning his combined record is 18 wins, 1 loss, not counting the no contest, 14 KOs. Now, in his first 20 fights, Kostyzu has a little impressive run of opposition to say it is indeed his first 20 fights. He gains a win of a former champion um, and top 10, former top 10 rated fighter and top 3 rated fighter Juan Laporte early on by his fourth profile. He then also gains a win over former top 10 rated former champion Sammy Fuentes, okay, before also gaining another good win over former top 10 rated, top 3 rated former champion Livingston Bramble. He then gains a win over former top 10 rated Hector Lopez, gains a win over former top 10 rated um, Angel Hernandez, gains a win over former top 10 rated Pedro Sanchez, um, before gaining a win over another um, former world champion who also fought Felix Tito Trinidad. Um, you know, Jake Rodriguez, okay, former light welterweight champion, um, who was former top 10 and top 3 rated. Um, Koshizu wins the IBF well, light welterweight title in that fight. He then gains a win, okay, of a former champion, former top 3 rated fighter and former ring champion, um, Roger Mayweather. And then gains a win, okay, of a former top 10 rated Jan Piet Bergman um, before losing his last fight to a major fighter on this slide. That is former top 10 and top 3 rated fighter and former champion Vince. Phillips. So Koshizu has already won a title well inside 20 fights. He's already fought a number of names, some of them towards the end of the careers, some of them not. He's fought a number of top 10 contenders. His record against champions after 20 fights for Koshizu, he's had six fights against champions going five wins and one loss. He has not yet fought a Hall of Famer, although inside 20 fights, um, you know, I wouldn't expect it. Not everybody's a Jeanette. Um, rated fighters now this is interesting Koshizu fought 10 fighters okay in his first 20 pro fights who were top 10 rated in the career um, going 9 wins and 1 loss and Koshizu also has 5 fights um, in his first 20 fights against fighters who were top 3 rated in the career okay going 4 wins and 1 loss so Koshizu did not have a long career not many over 30 fights um, you know, but he did cram actually quite a lot of work in. Yes, he fought some fighters who were towards the end of the careers. He fought a number of fighters who were fringe top 10 contenders, other fighters who were higher rated top 10 contenders, beat a number of former, um, you know, world champions, um, had the one loss to Vince Phillips. So what we can say is for a first 20 fights, even fighting some fighters who were close to end of the careers, it's still an impressive running 20 fights for Kostya Zhu. He's actually had 10 fights against men who were top 10 rated, five fights against men who were top three rated, already, like I said, caught a world title inside 20 fights against Jake Rodriguez. That's not a bad start at all, really, factoring all things. Let's go to his next 20, and here we see... Um, um, Koshizu's career ends, okay, he didn't have a big career, Koshizu in his last fight scores 13 wins and 1 loss, scores 11 KOs, Koshizu's combined record at the end of his career is 31 wins, 2 defeats with 25 KOs, he was always a good knockout puncher, Koshizu on this slide, okay, fought another selection of fighters, he beat um, former top 10 and top 3 rated fighter, former champion Calvin Grove, he then also beat former top 10 and top 3 rated former champion Rafael Ruelas, he then also fought Dias Belis Hurtado, um, who was a former champion and also top 10 rated, and then Koshizu becomes a two-time light welterweight champion when he beats former top 10 and top 3 rated fighter, former champion, um, who made a lot of defence at lightweight, Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Gonzalez to win the WBC light welterweight title and become a two-time world champion. He then also gained a win over an aging legend, okay, former top 10 and top 3 rated champion and Hall of Famer, great Mexican legend Julio Cesar Chavez. He then fought a Floyd opponent, okay, Shambay Mitchell, um, former world champion who had a number of defences. He, he beat Shambay Mitchell, top 10 and top 3 rated former champion, to add the WBA 
WBA light welterweight title to his WBC light welterweight title, becoming a unified champion. He then gained a win over former top 10 rated Octa Urkal before gaining another win. Okay, a very good win. The fight with the comical knockout um, against top 10, top 3 and former ring champion Zab Judah um, to add the IBF welterweight, light welterweight title to his other titles, becoming heavily unified and to many undisputed who don't count the WBO title as a world title at that time. So he then goes on to fight the man who Ricky Atten said had the hardest head in all boxing, um, Ben Tacky, very tough and rugged, durable fighter, former top 10 rated. And he then gained another win over a former champion, OK, beating former top 10 rated champion Jesse James Leisure. He then followed that up with a second win, OK, over top 10 and top 3 rated former champion Sean Bay Mitchell before losing his last fight, of course, to former top 10, top 3, former ring champion um, Ricky the Hitman Hatton. So Koshizu does not have an enormous career, but in that he has crammed a lot of work in there for only 33 fights. Okay, he's got 25 kills in 31 wins. Um, so he's got a lot of knockouts. He's won a number of world title belts, become heavily unified. Um, his record against champions is 14 wins and two losses from 33 fights. He had 16 fights against champions going 14 and two. He's only one and zero against all of famous, of course, Julio Cesar Chavez. And he's fought 22 fights against men who were top 10 rated, going 20 wins and two losses and against top three rated fighters he's had 13 fights against men who were top three rated fighters in 33 fights going 11 wins and two losses so there is Kostya Zhu's basic career breakdown now let us go on to Kostya Zhu's stats and see how it goes so Kostya Zhu okay beat 13 individual world champions in 33 fights. He also fought 109 rounds um, in his career against those world champions. Kosh fought and beat one Hall of Famer Julio Cesar Chavez and has six rounds against Hall of Fame opposition. Now, Kosh title record in 33 fights is very impressive. Pretty much 50% of his fights were actually world title fights. He had a record of 14 wins and two losses. He had 11 KOs or stoppages in title fights and also made 12 title defences in his two reigns as champion. Koshizu also fought 126 title fight rounds um, in his career. It's very interesting, you know, as time goes on, as the playlists fill up, all you guys will be able to mix and match and look at the stats of all the fighters in their divisions um, compared against each other and all the fighters compared against each other. No active fighters or fighters currently active are considered only retired fighters. So in fights against fighters who were rated champions, uh, top 10 rated champions or Hall of Famers, Koshizu in 33 fights had 22 fights against men who were either rated champions or now Hall of Famers. And from that, he's got a very impressive win record, um, winning 20 of those 22 fights. The only two fights, of course, he lost were to Vince Phillips and Ricky Hatton. He won all the others. So 20 wins in 33 fights um, against men who were top 10 rated champions or Hall of Famers. And overall, for a man of only 33, Three fights. He's had 16 world title fights, virtually half his career. Beat 13 individual champions um, in 33 fights and beat. Um, got 20 wins against fighters who were top 10 rated champs or all of famous in 33 fights. So, very impressive little career there from Kostya Zhu. Um, you know, albeit some of his opponents were close to the end, some earlier, but it's the same in any fighter's career, really, um, to an extent. So, now there are Kostya Zhu's stats. Let's go on to his knockout stats. And Kostya Zhu's knockout stats are as follows. Um, Kostya Zhu had 25 knockouts in his career. Now, from those 25 KOs, Kostya Zhu scored 11 knockouts or stoppages in three rounds or less. And Kostya Zhu also has six first round um, KOs in his career. Koshizu also scored 11 KOs against champions in his career and of course stopped via retirement um, the one Hall of Fame fighter he fought, Julio Cesar Chavez. Like I said, KOs I'm just counting for these retirement stoppages, knockouts. They're all inside the distance wins. Um, one Hall of Fame fighter and in title fights from Koshizu's 16 world title fights, he also has a very impressive um, amount of 11 KOs in title fights. So Koshizu had a short career, crammed quite a lot of work in that short career for only 33 fights, um, and also has, as a good puncher at light well away, got an impressive little set of knockout stats, um, you know, to say that he is um, only a 33 fight career fighter. So... 
There are Koshizu's basic stats, okay, on his basic career stats I use. There are his um, basic KO stats. Now what I want to do, okay, um, to close out the video is go on to Koshizu's um, title fight accomplishments. So let's take a look at those now. So Koshizu, okay, um, was a one-weight world champion. He titled at light welterweight only. And Koshizu was a two-time um, light welterweight champion. Koshizu was also a unified um, light welterweight champion and a lineal light welterweight champion. So he was a two-time light welterweight champion and unified, um, un capturing one belt, then unifying, then unifying again. So he won multiple fights for unified belts. Capping it off with a lineal title. World title belts Koshizu held. The first belt it captured was the IBF light welterweight title. He then also captured the WBC light welterweight title in his second runner's champion. He then unified with the WBA light welterweight title. And then also added the IBF light welterweight title to his title hall. So what we can say, Koshizu, um, good puncher. Really, really good puncher at light welterweight. For a lot of fighters, okay, um, from Zab Judah, Vince Phillips, Ricky Hatton, um, for a more aging Julio Cesar Chavez, for Miguel Angel Gonzalez, for Shambe Mitchell, for a lot of good opposition, Koshizu, um, also added to a very good set of title accomplishments when you factor that he only fought at one weight. You know, he was a heavily unified fighter. He was recognized at one point as the best light welterweight in the division. Um, and there is the basic career breakdown of Koshizu. Um, so I will add him to my light welterweight list and I'll be back soon with my next fighter to be broken down. I'm out for now.